Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Cosme and today we're going to be uh, making any type of uh, 2D text or logo into a uh, 3D chrome text effect in Blender. Um, now that could be used for any type of uh, website design, clothing design, or even um, 3D animations. So that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right guys, so here I have my uh, 2D logo and uh, we have it in Illustrator. We're going to go to file. If you have any other applications that you could do vectors on, uh, then I'm pretty sure you could do the same steps. It'll be go to file, export, export as, uh, make sure you export it as a uh, SVG. I have mine saved up already, so I'm not gonna save it, but then you wanna open up your blender. When you do open up your blender, you wanna go and whenever, whenever, okay, there you go. Um, you wanna uh, delete all your defaults and you wanna go to file. You wanna go to import, scalable vector graphics, and uh, you wanna go and search for, for your uh, logo or your SVG. For my case, I have it on my USB drive E. And uh, yeah, here we have your logo. Just make sure you zoom in it. For some reason it comes out, it comes, it shows up really small. Um, now again, this is not a total beginner. So, but I'm gonna call out some of the, some of the uh, short keys to help some of you guys out. Um, so you wanna go to seven uh, on your, on your uh, numpad for go, so you could go to the top view. And then you wanna scale it up uh, by clicking on S. Again, this is total beginner stuff. I shouldn't be calling this out because it's gonna make the, the, the video a little longer, but um, I'll try my best. You wanna go, go to grab and Y on the X axis. I mean, on the Y axis, what am I saying? And uh, you have your logo here like this. Now, what you wanna do is essentially you wanna merge all, all of these shapes together. So by, you know, selecting them all and control J. So now it's just one shape as you can see. Uh, once you have this, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the object data properties and you wanna go to geometry Drop that down. Uh, extrusion might want to do uh, 0 0.005. I think this should work. I don't want it to be too thick or too thin. So I think this works for me. Maybe go a little even higher. Maybe uh, uh, 0 0.006 should work maybe. I think this works. Uh, once you do this, what you want to do is you also want to go to bevel and bevel it slightly. Let's see. Let's see what we could do. Uh, Death, bring that up a little bit. Not too much. I think, I think 0 0.001 should be good. Any more than that might be a little bit of a mess up. Um, so now once you have this, what you wanna do is you wanna right click, convert to a uh, mesh, and you wanna go to the uh, modifiers, add a modifier, and we're gonna do a uh, quick remesh. And we're gonna, there's different ways you could do this, but I wanna go to smooth. Um, and smooth, you wanna remove this connected. Uh, trust me, cause if not, it's just not gonna work. And um, on the octree depth, what you wanna do is Depending on how of a good computer and your components that you have, you don't want to go higher than nine. Now, it all depends also on your logo and how many details your logo has. But honestly, I wouldn't go higher than, than nine for this specific one. I'm, I'm gonna do seven. I think seven work. I mean, eight works, um, but don't go any higher. I think it'll slow down your computer drastically. Uh, once you do this, you want to go click on this drop down, apply the uh, match, and now you want to go to sculpting. Now in sculpting, what you could do is, you wanna go to material so you can see a little bit more what you're working on. And you wanna click on this smooth uh, brush. And what you could do now is, you could nicely go and smooth out these edges so you don't have rough rough edges. And um, you could do one at a time, like so. It, it is gonna take some time, so I'm gonna speed this whole process up. And then once I'm done, I will get back to you guys. All right, so once you once you do the, the front side, make sure you, you do the back side as well. Um, and everything should be looking like this, a little bit more smooth and roundish, so that when you do add that chrome uh, material, it'll do it'll do justice. It'll look super nice. Um, so once we have this, what you want to do now is you want to add a uh, a nice HDRI. Those could be found on Google. Just search up HDRI for free. You'll find many websites. Download the download one. Once you do download it, you want to go to the uh, world properties. You want to go and click on this yellow dot and you wanna to go to environment texture. And once you click on that, you wanna go and click open, go to your downloads and search up for EXR. That's usually the HDR, HDRI uh, format. And once you have that, go and click on yours for this specific one. I think I'm gonna go with uh, with this one right here. Where is it? Right here. I'm gonna click, I'm, I'm, gonna, go with, I'm gonna go with this one. You wanna to go to the uh, render viewport and uh, you wanna go two materials down here. You wanna click use nodes. I'm gonna stay with the base color as a white color and then bring the metallic all the way up and the roughness, you wanna do 0.1. And then you'll have this nice chrome material. Now, 
what you want to do is you also want to make sure you right click and shade smooth and then there you go now for some of you guys might be asking you know how can we get rid of the background well for that what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, render properties and you want to go to film and click on transparent and now we have just the logo itself with the checkerboard background so that if you do want to um export it or you know bring it into photoshop and give it your own background and you know you can do whatever you want with it so once you have this if you want to do a, a quick uh, loop animation what you want to do is click on the object properties you want to be on number one i don't think we got to do 250 frames maybe you could just do uh 50 and uh you want to click on this uh z for the rotation and click on that dot it'll turn it to be yellow you want to go on the right all the way on the right arrow to jump to the end point and click on the right arrow to go to frame 51 instead of 50. Uh, now what this will do is it'll make sure that it, you're doing a loop endlessly so it'll do a loop without ending uh, so once you do this you want to go and click on this number right here and do 360 degrees it'll do a 360 and uh, make sure you click on this point to animate the property once more so now you'll have this right here now some of you might be saying why is it rotating this way if you're running into that problem what you want to do is you want to right click and uh set origin to geometry and now everything should be working properly now if you click on space bar it'll do this now it looks like it's you know starting slowly and ending slowly now what you want to do to get rid of that is you want to click on this two yellow frames right click go to the enter pollution mode and go to linear and this will get rid of that slowliness or whatever so it'll just constantly be spinning and now you could you know take this and render it out and it'll just be a non-stopping or like a looping animation uh now once you have if you've gotten this far you're, you're pretty much done you could export it this way or you could play a little bit with um what we call the render property so you you could do ambient occlusion bloom screen space motion uh blur and uh i also like to go to i like to go to color management and the look i like to have a very high contrast and you could also go and add a light um area light grab for uh, g for grab z to go and bring it all the way up like so scale it up a little bit and on the uh, power maybe do 100 and you'll get this nice glare glow effect that i so much love and it just gives it a better look what you could do that what you could do for that as well is you could shift d to duplicate it on the z axis and then you want to r um r what do you want to do ry 180 and it'll bring it up so now you have it all the way around the logo and you could even ch even change the color if you want to so it doesn't have to be it doesn't necessarily have to be white it could be purple and red and you can play with it so now you have this nice looping animation of your logo just spinning now there you can't really see much the glare but that's because it's moving but once you do render it out you'll see the glare nicely um i think that's pretty much it for this tutorial um again it's not a total beginner if you want to learn how to if you want to learn how to export animation so it works nicely i'll do another tutorial just specifically on that i just wanted to make this pretty quick short and simple um i hope you guys did enjoy this video um if you guys do like it make sure to to drop a like uh comment and even share it and um yeah thank you guys for watching